All right, guys, this will be uh, a brief video. Um, I follow a guy on Twitter called Man United Talk. He is the enemy. Um, I have never met him. I don't know him personally other than online, okay? Uh, and, you know, I would class this person as an online friend, uh, and I really like them. And, um, and I think that we have a mutual respect for each other. Uh, we hate each other's clubs. He fucking hates Liverpool. I mean, like, he won't even hold that back. Do you know what I mean? And we sort of like, we avoid each other on match day and for the next 24 hour, four hours afterwards, we don't bait each other out like that. And I know that as a result of me mentioning him, a few of you interact with him as well because I can see your names. When I click on his profile, it says, you know, such and such is following him. So if you've got Twitter, Man United Talk, tell, tell him Dunk sent you. He's a good kid. I really, really like him. He's honest, really good. Uh, and not only that, not when it comes to football, but in personal matters, when I lost my mum, you know, he's always been there, you know, like he'll say, your mum would have been proud. And he just says all the right things and keep your head up, don't, and congratulates me on the weight loss. I know you're thinking that I ain't lost Like, what? You've lost weight? You go back to my first videos. Uh, no, seriously, he's, he's not just the enemy. He's not just a football fan. He's someone that I have a great deal of time for. And if you use Twitter, you need to, to follow him, I think, because... Yeah, you've always got rival supporters that are childish and they'll bait you. But if you can't take a bit of baiting online, there's something wrong with you in the first place. Uh, but he's not someone that'll just come out and say, you're shit. Do you know what I mean? Because if you are good, he'll say, I, I hate to admit this, but you're doing really well. So you've got to have a bit of maturity in there and a bit of banter. Man United talk is his username. Now, he put two tweets out in the last 24 hours, whatever, that I just happen to agree with. And I'm going to mention them to you because they are things that I have said to you before on here. Uh, and, I, and I just want you to to understand that someone else agrees with me, what I'm saying. And I, me and him have never had conversations about this. So the first one is something that I've said to you before many times on here. Uh, so straight away, you know, I was like, spot on, mate. I've got a message. Oh, he's, just, he's literally just replied to me now. Uh, that's freaky. Uh, he's literally just replied to me now. Um on a public tweet, which we'll get to in a minute. So this, this tweet he put out 22 hours ago, he said, it always cracks me up, right? So he's talking about Man United here. It always cracks me up how someone is deemed reliable if they are reporting what people want to hear. If someone reports the opposite, therefore what you don't want to hear or doesn't go with your way of thinking, they are deemed unreliable. Half these accounts have no followers and they've just bought blue ticks, but all of a sudden they're reliable. So... What he's basically saying there is what I say to you, that many times people will regurgitate and spread gossip and rumour to do with Liverpool Football Club because they want it to be true so much and they will omit the... Uh, the dog's having a sniff around. They'll omit the uh, the negative stuff if it goes against them. They won't tell you that bit. Do you know what I mean? They'll be like, oh, I don't want to admit that. You know, Listen, guys, yeah, I really think we're going to sign Bellingham. Look, look, he said it. He's really reliable because it falls in with what they're saying. And and for, for my friend here to say that about his supporters, you know, their fan base, was, was really good for me to hear because this is an opinion I absolutely believe in. And what you've got to be careful with this is that people that are built content creators and all that guff, right? They, you know, if, they, if they've got influence, if they've uh, got a YouTube channel, a podcast or a blog or whatever, and they are cutting out, they're leaving out bits of information because it goes against what they want to believe they are therefore creating a fake narrative for you. It might not be honest. So sometimes, like, I, you know, I'm no different to any, any other football fan. There's things that I want Liverpool Football Club to do. Or I might say, I might make claims to you and go, well, I think this is happening. And then if I hear someone say the opposite to what I've said, I don't leave that out and not tell you guys. Just like, oh, that goes against what I want. I tell you and I'll go, do you know what, both of uh, this, you know... You've got to be careful of these people, and he is spot on. So just let me repeat it to you one more time, because I, I need you to understand this when you are analysing news and thinking, can I trust this person or not? It always cracks me up how someone is deemed reliable if they are reporting what people want to hear. If someone reports the opposite, they are deemed unreliable. Remember that. Bang on. I'm so glad he said that. And ironically, uh, he also put out um, another tweet, which, which I agreed with, uh, which I, which is the one he's just replied to now. Uh, I retweeted it earlier. And he, he was talking about the uh, the freelance journalist Ben Jacobs. I've got my my own thoughts about Ben Jacobs. 
uh, as some of you guys know, I tend to save them more for my private videos on this channel for the channel members or the Cop Talk VIP members because I don't really like to call people out by name. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bullying. I just don't think it's like I don't know. Maybe if you're a journalist, you're in the media, then you should be you should be judged and criticised. Uh, but I don't like to. I don't. It's just the way I was brought up not to like you know slag people off so to speak. But I'm not. I always say if you watch when I'm critical of someone, I will usually say. He might be a really nice person, a nice dad, a nice brother, a nice fella, whatever. Do you know what I mean? This is not about that person as an individual, but when it comes to football, they're an absolute moron. Do you know what I mean? Are you allowed to say that? Anyway, so Man United talk again. Um, he was responding to a tweet from an account called the United Stand. All right, I'm sure none of us follow that. Uh, and that tweet said, as of last night, no group had been informed they are the successful bidder. This is in regards to the purchase of Manchester United. Public announcements nor groundbreaking updates are not expected in the next few days. And then it says at Jacobs Ben, which means that's the quote that Ben Jacobs is saying. Now, Man United talk, right, my good friend, uh, even though he's the enemy. He says, one, he replied to that and he put not a soul involved in the process is telling Ben Jacobs a thing. Uh, and, and, you know, and then he just says this fan base needs to stop being so gullible and realise who currently owns us. So that's getting into their ownership situation. But I replied to that uh, and I said, so glad Jacobs is, being, is also being called out by the enemy, right? He's a United fan. Uh, he's just building his, quote, freelance career on the back of takeover talks surrounding United and ourselves. And, ourselves. and that's what I believe he's doing. I really do. I know that Ben Jacobs was not very high profile before uh, the Liverpool takeover stuff. And I'm sure that he's rattling on about the United stuff. I don't know, because I don't follow the fucker. Do you know what I mean? Because I think he talks shy. And, and I'm sure he was out there before and he was doing a bit for CBS or something like that. I'm not saying he's a nobody. But what I'm saying is, if you are freelance, you need a following. Because the more followers you've got, the more people paying attention to you, the more the networks and media want to interview you. And since Liverpool Football Club came up for sale in November, that fuck has never been off television, the internet, interviews and everything. All right? Now, I'm not saying he's deliberately misleading anyone, but I don't believe that you should pay much attention to him. I think he's a chancer. That's it. Maybe I'm a chancer. The difference is, I'm a Liverpool fan. I only talk about Liverpool Football Club and I've been here for a long time. Been a season ticket holder since the 1990s, right? Shareholder. I got Liverpool tattooed on my arm. Which arm is it? That one, although it's fucking terrible. I got married at Anfield in July 1999. I am a Liverpool fan, right? I'm not a super Liverpool fan. I've not. That's one of the way people try to put you down these days. Someone left a comment on here yesterday saying FSG are better owners than you are a Liverpool fan. Like, I can't give a fuck what anyone thinks about Liverpool. I couldn't give a fuck really about football today. It's completely and utterly changed. What I care about is the people on here and everywhere to do with Cop Talk to support me because I want them to be happy. I love Liverpool, I love football, but it ain't what it was, right? I don't need uh, to justify or to be, oh, I'm a great football fan because I'm not. I'm not a great Liverpool fan. What about is a great Liverpool fan? How old are we? How old are we to even have conversations about that? Do you know what I mean? I don't go to watch Liverpool play anymore. I used to go and watch Liverpool play at home, away, reserve games, etc., etc. I wouldn't do it now. I've got more important things to spend my money on. I live in a foreign country. If I lived nearby, then yes, I would, absolutely. But uh, the point I'm trying to make here is what I do today with my YouTube, with my, you know, this is just an extension of Cop Talk, a website that I set up in the 90s as a hobby. Do you know what I mean? I didn't set out to do this. I had no idea. What, I didn't know I was going to do this. I didn't, when I was a kid at school, the internet didn't exist. So I didn't plan for it. I just happened to do something that, you know, I was very passionate about. And people enjoy it. And today, you know, quarter of a century on, they still enjoy it. So that's the difference. Ben Jacobs has, has to be out there. You know, he has to further his career. I don't. I don't have a career. I just do it as long as people support me. And I, and I press that switch there behind me and the electricity comes on. Then I know I'm all right. That's all I'm bothered about. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is I'm authentic. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck if anyone thinks I'm not. But anyway... Uh, great, uh, gr great comments there from my friend Mr. Man United Talk, who you know again is you know it's the enemy. It's Manchester United. He's saying his true feelings. He's got no agenda against Ben Jacobs. He's just saying he's full of shit. That's what I think he's saying, and I would agree the same. I absolutely would. And um, that's it. That's all I've got to say. So yeah, I was quite chuffed with that. That's it. I'm good for a drink in a minute. Woohoo!